Man United planning new £2 billion 100,000 seater stadium on site of Old Trafford. New minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has reportedly been on keen on building a Wembley of the North to rival the 90,000 seater national stadium in North London. Manchester United plan to build a new stadium on the site of Old Trafford, with confirmation of the move to come by the end of the year. United's preferred option is to build a completely new 100 0, 0 seater state of the art stadium on land adjacent to Old Trafford, at a cost of around £2 billion by 2030. It is understood that United's plan is to stay at Old Trafford and continue playing there while they build on adjacent land, which would see them avoid playing at a temporary venue. The other option is to redevelop Old Trafford, although that would present logistical issues, including having to reduce attendances from 75,000 to around 40,000 while the work was carried out or play at an alternative venue. United have set up the Old Trafford Task Force to assess the feasibility of both options, with officials having visited stadiums all over the world on fact-finding missions to gain intel on how to build the best sports arena in the UK. Those stadiums include the Bernabeu, No Camp and the 70,000 capacity Sophie in Los Angeles, arguably the finest sports arena in the world, where United lost 2-1 to Arsenal in a pre-season friendly on Saturday. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, now in charge of football operations at United, has a bold vision for Old Trafford which includes a major regeneration of the local area, in terms of amenities and job creation. The SOFI project did just that, at an overall cost of around £4 billion, funded by Arsenal owner Stan Krenke, with the Hollywood Park area around the stadium boasting a 6,000 concert venue, apartments and hotels. United see Sophie as a blueprint for their own grand vision for a new Old Trafford and the subsequent regeneration of the surrounding area that such a bold stadium transformation would bring. The cost of the new stadium would be met by a mix of private and public investment, with the government providing funding for the necessary improved transport links required. Former United striker Andy Cole, who was out in the US on the club's pre-season tour, was impressed by Sophie and its positive impact on the local community a legacy he feels could be replicated with Old Trafford. What left the biggest impression on me is how the stadium has been central to the rise of Inglewood, said Cole. I have been coming to LA for years and that area of the city was never previously somewhere you would choose to go as a visitor. To see how it's become such a thriving neighborhood, with Sophie at the heart of it, is an inspirational example of inner city regeneration. I don't draw this comparison lightly, but you can see a parallel with the opportunity back home in Manchester. A new or redeveloped stadium at Old Trafford could be the focal point for revitalization of the surrounding area. Manchester United fans and everyone in the north of England deserves a truly world-class stadium and so if I set the standard to aim for. This is the kind of arena the best players in the world want to be playing in and fans want to be experiencing. Thanks for watch this video if you like this don't forget like and subscribe this channel goodbye.